Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire 4 Fuhrer Reich as Germany. Let us continue on before we last off, off, so we're now officially in the Second World War. The British Empire... I mean, we're not at war with the British, uh, we're really just at war with France, and that's actually not like a huge issue. Is everybody else involved in the war? Yeah, call everybody into the war. Yeah, Lithuania, I mean, like some weird things are going on with Lithuania. So the Ottoman Empire is now in the war. They should hopefully try to... Apparently the Danish are also down here for some weird reason. I mean, they're also in Luxembourg. But Luxembourg's not in a faction. So we can't really do much. There are a few French troops in Belgium. All the unassigned divisions can now actually go into green. And we can start planning for that. Where's my navy, by the way? Search and destroy in this area. We have a few French ships. Nine divisions. We have no commander. No, convoy raid here. They really just sent like a shit ton They sent seven divisions at me like immediately. I don't even know how that happened so fast. Okay, well... Everybody's now involved in the war. How do they move troops over here so fast? Like, they were really, really ready for this. Okay, let's, you know what, deploy all the troops. Even the ones that aren't even ready to fight yet, that's fine. Purple, you actually stay here. This weird amalgamation of uh, soldiers that I just summoned out that are all trash, but that's fine. Don't, don't assign. Uh, delete this? No. I swear to God. Delete this. Why can it not be deleted? Do I have to be this guy? There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. Then all of you guys down there, like, ASAP. Yeah, we're convoy raiding here. So hopefully now, the French don't just, like, do bad shit. That's a huge fucking French fleet. Oh, my God. The Danish are now fighting here. Where is that battle going on? Like, all our ships are over here trying to kill these convoys. Wow, they really, really mobilized extremely quickly, huh? Like, holy hell, did they just immediately send troops up here. Like, France, come on now, boys. Like, I didn't expect them to come, like, that quickly. You can be, uh, Army Orange. France wants to send me... You know what? Uh, six. Now, you all deploy over there now. So they're immediately going to take over all of this territory, which is good for us. Like they just, they just swooped in out of nowhere. So once the German spirit is done, I think we're going to start to fabricate our claim against the Belgians and push our way up in there. Oh, apparently these promises- do these promises not connect? Yeah, if we can just kind of try to push our way out. Take back the cities. Let me declare war in Ecuador. No, Ecuador is our friends. Ecuador is the one that actually kind of mattered. 
if I remember correctly. And also, yeah, like, these heavy tank divisions don't actually have tanks in them. Which is very, very good. Yeah, so it looks like the Soviets are sending troops over to help out the French. Like, to all their uh, puppet states as well. Like, there's nobody in our faction down here, no. I mean, we have territory up here in uh, Greenland and Iceland. So, you know, that is uh, definitely going to change the tide of battle. I would say. Okay, kill off the troops in Hamburg. Completely surround them so they won't have anywhere to actually. Yeah, there we go, and overrun immediately. Already, 200. So, already 211,000 Frenchmen have died. 3,000. France! France, are you okay? I'm assuming they're getting stuck in, um. Transporting troops around, and they're just dying by getting sunk. Which always seems to be the case. Okay, so yeah, purple now. Or orange, I should say. You're also gonna front line here. I mean, I know we're not at war with the Soviets quite yet, but... I still think that they're the biggest threat. Yeah, so all of you guys deploy over there. Deal with that little territory of the French. A lot of faces up here. I'm not too sure at all. Where's our navy? Oh, our entire navy got sunk. I don't know what the hell these foreheads are. Well, shit. Okay, well, where are my some? Where are my guys here now? A few battleships and some submarines and destroyers. That's all that's left of the navy. Immediately loses everything. Really, that's just how I play. They also are probably trying to attack up here, which is silly of them. For 35 days after that, I'm going to immediately go into uh, invade Belgium. It's also a 35 day uh, event. We're going to invade Belgium, 35 days. War bonds, war propaganda. Yeah, war bonds. That sounds like a good idea. One building slot. It's all a Volkis regime in France. Lithuanian autonomy. So yeah, if we take over Paris, then I guess they're going to get an event to flee to Africa. Denmark wants to send troops. I would prefer not to. War propaganda against the French Republic. I mean, we're already at 98% war support. Like, we don't need more support. The Phoenician nation can no longer stand the pressure. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing... Yeah, Syria has basically just collapsed to the Ottomans. Fantastic. So yeah, we're already easily, easily, easily winning the war. Three, like 7,000. The casualty numbers are so one-sided. Like, it's actually in a bit. Like, they keep trying to push through into the mountains. And it's clearly not working out, ever. So I'm not too sure what their actual plan here is. Hello, Soviet Union. How are you guys doing, by the way? Any of you trying to do anything spooky? Southern Italy is recovering. Nah, nah, just, uh... Oh yeah, all my planes also should, I guess, be... Here? Are any of these, um, over capacity? Any of the airports? No, it doesn't look like it. So you should all be fine. We got our air support. Apparently we just didn't have any air coverage, which would have been an issue, I would al will admit. Uh, so 12 days here. There's propaganda.
How many factories are here? Like two and a handful. You know what? I'll, I'll give Lithuania back their um, territory. Okay, well, I didn't do anything. So, yeah, sure. I'm sure all of that was good. We no longer get the effects of the sanctions, which is good because I feel like we have bigger issues to worry about than um, some sanctions. We saw like no uh, heavy tanks at all. I don't know if we have, do we have a single heavy tank? I don't think, yeah, no, we don't have any. I don't think. Grand battle plan is done. Uh, it's almost 1939. Can I start, I'm just gonna start researching the next uh, level of infantry equipment. The French can just throw all their manpower at me. That's completely okay. I mean, they have like a million manpower. We have almost two million manpower. Soviets are still looking at four. The Italians at like 250,000. Yeah, so so far things are looking pretty okay. Are you also, what are you? Are you guys in any factions? No. Some railways. The Greeks, what are the Greeks gonna do? You have any fact, no, you have, you know, uh, Things for yourself. So maybe the Ottoman Empire is going to attack the Greeks. I'm not too sure. We will see. We will see. Yeah, no, they just keep trying to attack over the the uh, the mounts, and it's clearly not working out for them. Okay, ten more days, and we can invade through Belgium. No, you're going to do absolutely nothing. Just stay home and try to repair. Because losing the entirety of your navy in about five seconds is generally a bad thing, I would say. So are you guys going to try to defense of Sweden? Declare war on or uh, on um, Norway, so I can try to help you out, so you can join my my faction. Right now, it's looking pretty okay. All of Central Europe basically is on my side. Yeah, a few more days. Belgium, you are not going to like this, I would say. You're involved in the war, right? Like, there's nobody in the war. They've already been called and we're awaiting a response. Okay, well, apparently, uh, your AI might just be broken. I'm not too sure. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. You also are not uh, in the war yet. Yeah, thanks for joining the war. Whoever the hell you are. The no-name nation. Planes available in reserves. Really? Oh, there's more captured fighters. Oh, apparently we have too many things here. So you go fly. You go here. I guess you'll deploy back here and then fly. And that should, that, yeah, that should still be okay. Air superiority in Western Germany, because that's where most of the fighting is taking place. I'm assuming because they're attacking into us, the battle's actually happening here. But how much longer? Three more days. We're gonna go to speed five just to get us to the day we invade the Belgians. Oh, and we got some research done. Fantastic. Uh, this is all 1940 stuff, so that's a bit much. I would say 1940 planes, heavy fighters. I don't know if that's actually like that important. Available war goal. Oh, silly, silly Belgium. You should have thought about this before. Oh yeah, everybody uh against the the Dutch. Yeah, call everybody into this. Apparently nobody's able to join. Is Luxembourg up? Wait, we're at war with Luxembourg now? I didn't even know that. How, when did that happen? Apparently we don't have any oil. Actually, we have too much uh, resources, which is surprising. It actually means that we need to get a uh, chromium, I guess. Yes, okay. Everybody's showing the war. Fantastic. Uh, we actually don't have enough political power to do that, so never mind. 
Uh, soon we will, but not right now. Okay, so you're not doing, like, super hot, but that's fine. Are you actually in the Entente? Okay, yeah, so they immediately joined the Continental Entente. I'm guessing through event? Bryn wants to send two volunteers. Yeah, of course you do, Bryn. Absolutely, you want to join our side. Uh, I am going to... The British strategy, 14 days. Bryn, you're going to love me. The Republic of Luxembourg has capitulated. That's not surprising. I mean, they only have like one city. People are getting called and involved into the wars. Gonna need a new field uh, marshal. And actually, I'm gonna put all of. Um, Yeah, so this is the Western Front. Yeah, so this is the West, this is the East. No, yeah. Uh, this is the East, this is the West. There we go. Figure that out. It took a while, but here comes all of the reinforcements streaming in. Try to get some more troops over here. There is a shit ton of information happening on the screen right now. Apparently Red's very eager to engage, but, you know, we're not going to do that. I guess the Belgium's been, yeah, I don't know, the French Republic has actually still called more German troops than Belgium has, but not by that much. Yeah, we're already at 100% war support, so these war propaganda things are meaningless. They don't do anything at all. There's propaganda, recruitment population goes up, mobilization speed also increases, but again, we're not, we don't need that too much. You guys, uh, green actually, I'm gonna have you stop your tax for now. Kind of reorganize yourselves. You're still gonna be a little bit too difficult of a nut to crack. Like, what is your issue? What are you upset about? The Peter enemy division still preparing. Okay. Well, you're only 10 divisions, so you know, I can't blame you too much. Anywhere where I can easily push in, probably not. Like most of you guys are green, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely not going to work. British strategy. Cooperate with the British. And actually, going to improve relations with them even more, so maybe they'll actually say yes to my plans. Yeah, because we can get the British on side, then that would be really useful. Our path and destiny. Conduct Imperial Parliament. Status quo. Imperial Burden, help me out. Treaty with demanding Alaska territories, demand writing old wrongs. Thank you, Brent, for sending some troops to help us out. 3-1. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of troops here. That's definitely an issue, but that's an issue we can resolve next time. So thanks everybody for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, remember thumbs up. If you enjoyed, you can always thumb down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.